Hi guys, Merry Christmas. Um, so today is Wednesday. I normally do a live at this time, but because I'm spending it with family and whatnot, I'm just doing a premiere. So, but I thought we'd do something fun and Christmassy. I got this, um, you know, glitter Christmas bell from the dollar store. And I figured it would be really cool actually to pour over that it can create a really cool effect. And I thought it would look great with the Artist Loft Ready Mixed pouring paint. So I've actually made a couple of my own colors because there's limited stock in the stores. So I made a teal and then I made a, like a bluey purple. I only had a tiny bit of the purple left. So I just added some blue. That way I can get some different shades of colors. So as I am doing this, I will be down in the chat box with you because I'm doing this as a live premiere, basically. Um, take a few minutes out of my day to chit chat with you guys on Christmas. And this is a metallic white, by the way. I accidentally grabbed that one of the times instead of getting the regular white, probably because they were out of the regular white. But um, while we're here chit chatting, what is the your favorite gift that you gave for Christmas this year? Not that you got, but that you gave for Christmas this year. Let us all know. Um, I'm pretty happy because I got my daughter a bunch of different, like, really cool art kits that we can do together. Like, I got her a little, like, pottery wheel and stuff. So I'm actually really excited about that. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm trying to move towards having her not be on electronics so much. Okay, I think that should be good. I'm gonna go with a little bit more of this teal color. All right. Now what will be interesting is how it goes under the bell, but I think it'll create a pretty cool pattern. So let's give it a go. I'm not starting at the very top. Well, actually, yeah, I am. Because then I was like, wait a second, if this is a really cool idea, this could actually be a really cool Christmas ornament, too. <laughs> so if I like it as an ornament, I'll hang it on the tree. Trying to kind of evenly pour it. I just love the way that this paint maintains the lines, which is why I thought it would be great for this experiment. And this is one I've never tried. So, <laughs> all right, let's let it sit here and drain. I'm just holding this up. I could take it off, I guess. I just left it on there in case I liked it. <laughs> so I could just hang it up without having to add another string, but I guess it really doesn't matter. I have lots of string. But also it'll be easy to lift the bell up by. Um, who, where's everyone watching from? Like who went home for Christmas? Who's, you know, stayed home for Christmas? Luckily my, pretty much my entire family is in Los Angeles. So I'm still here in Los Angeles. I do two Christmases a year. I do the morning Christmas and then a nighttime Christmas with different parts of the family. Oh my gosh, so far this looks super duper duper cool. I just wanna let it run down just a little bit more. Oh, well, also who got art supplies for Christmas? <laughs> who got the flow trawl in their stocking? Or the artist loft ready mix pouring paints. It's always a great Christmas gift. Okay. This has slowed down a lot. This bell actually looks really cool. It looks way cooler than I thought it was going to. So I think this will be a Christmas ornament. I'll probably add on a date there and it will go on to the tree next year. I'm not going to lie, I totally didn't get a tree this year. I intended to, but it didn't happen. All right, setting that aside. Um, 
I think I am going to cut this string off. It was helpful to move the thing, but at this stage, I don't want it to ruin the paint. So there we go. Okay. I am loving how this thing is looking and great colors. Yeah, I, I did end up finding another blue at one of the stores, but otherwise I've been having to kind of make the colors stretch a bit and also making some of my own colors because why not? So this seems to be having like a, it's a similar effect as the vase pour on the canvas in terms of how this looks, but I poured it definitely less evenly than I would on the vase. Um, mainly because I was trying to hold up that darn string. So I think for next time, maybe I won't do that, but you know, it came out really cool anyways. And probably a little different than it would have otherwise. There we go. Now these paints I have noticed do, um, they don't pop air bubbles on their own as well. So I'm going to torch this really quick. There we go. I'm not going to torch the bell because I'm sure it's fine. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to bring you down for a close up on both of these. I'll do the best that I can with this bell. All right, here's our canvas, lower right hand corner love the lines that this paint makes. Upper right hand corner up here. This is a 10 by 10 canvas by the way guys. Upper left hand corner. And down to the lower left hand corner. There's the painting. Here we have our bell. I'm going to try to rotate it here. So super cool. And I just went right over that glitter <laughs> that it had on there. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. I'm going to go get back to my Christmas eating and present opening and present giving and everything. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas, those of you who are celebrating, fantastic Hanukkah, those of you that are celebrating that, and just a fantastic rest of the year. I will see you later.